we are now in Calgary, Alberta, and we are at Value Village. So let's go on in and see what we can find. Well, I'm gonna start off in their knickknack area. I kind of did a little scoping out of the store and there's not a whole lot in this one. That is $9.99. It's a cute little squirrel, it's $7.99. I'm thinking the prices are going to be pretty high here. But we are planning on checking out all the value villages. If we can get to them all tonight. That is not a good piece of glass. It's a little bit loud over here. I'm very close to the register. There's a super happy pig. <laughs> it's $9.99. That's kind of interesting. All right, well, I'm going to turn around and check out the other side. All right, I am on the other side. There is a cabbage patch doll, it's a rooster, and it has a made in Brazil lusterware finish on it $7.99 some elephants $4.99 for the three of them those are all right here is art glass grapes $4.99 These are not too bad. Pretty light weight, so they don't feel like super great quality. It's kind of a fun statue. I don't think these pieces are that old though. There's a whole duck family, $5.99 and $9.99. They look like Blue Mountain Pottery. It's a cute little trinket dish. Unfortunately, the little handle is missing. I would have picked that up for $6 if the handle was not chipped off broken. It's a nice little trinket dish. In Portugal, 1979 I think. Well, I found nothing at that value village, so I think we are going to go and check out another value village. So that is our next destination. So we are on the way to the next value village. We are at value village number two and hopefully we have better luck here. We are headed right for the home decor section. Let's see if we can find anything worth picking up here. The knickknacks. Here's a little Mexican pottery bird. That's cute. Three dollars. Yeah, I think I'll pick this little one up. I also have a 20% off coupon in my purse that's been in there for a while, so I should be able to use that here. There's a vintage 
fly catcher. That's a nice big one. $5.99. Hmm. Looks like it might have a chip inside. Yeah, there's some chips inside, so I'm going to leave that one. Interesting pieces. Found a carved wooden gazelle, but it has a broken and cracked antler. There's an elephant missing its tusks. Art glass paperweight, nothing too special. It's a cute little porcelain piece. Not really sure what that is for. All right, I'm going to turn around and look on the other side. There's also knickknacks on the other side of this shelf here. But I'm going to turn right around and check out the shelf right behind me. Some candle holders here. There's some weird flashing light coming from, I'm not sure what, if it's a camera or some sort of security system. So I'm going to try and not get it in the video. $6.99. Those are really quite heavy, but they're really worn, really rough shape. That's a wax candle Christmas tree. circle of friends. It's got a chip on it. All right, I don't see anything on this shelf. Got some more knickknacks over here. It's a glass elephant. I don't know, it's kind of weird, kind of oddly shaped. There's a super cute Looks like maybe a squirrel or skunk. I think it may be a hobbyist piece. It's a little coin bank, but there's no stopper. It's pretty cute though. Not a lot of really interesting things on the shelves here today. It's, I don't know, doesn't really have a nice quality paint job. Let's see if we can find something in another area of the store. Maybe I can find something in the little baggies here. What I'm noticing here in Calgary so far, although it's only my second value village, I definitely don't seem to have a really great selection. Yeah, nothing. Oh, here we go. There is a super cute little retro photo album. 
I just picked up a recipe book with a retro similar pattern. It's also got Capilano, Vancouver. I don't know, a little cup in there. A little sugar bowl. It's $2.99, so. I don't know what the inside's gonna look like, but I think I will pick it up for $2.99. So I just spotted a bunch of vintage Barbies. And they're $5.99 each. But look at the outfits on these Barbies. Like the detail and the work that would have went into this outfit. And there's a whole bunch of them here. Look at all the detail. Yeah, we each got these handmade dresses. Most of them look like they've got shoes on. This one's got some gold boots. She's even got little bloomers. She's got little bloomers on. And there's a yellow one. She's got little bloomers and yellow shoes. Got little hats with feathers. And then this one, she's got a little purse and bloomers and boots. The outfits alone on these gotta be worth some money. All the Barbies are vintage. They're not in terrible condition. Their hair is a little bit on the rough side. So they're $6 each. I don't know, I'm, honestly, I'm considering picking them all up, mostly for those outfits. They're just so much work, so much detail, like little gold pieces. She's got a star. It's just amazing. I am going to think about that. I might be picking all those Barbies up. All right, I decided to grab them all. <laughs> I could not leave them for $6 each. These outfits alone are worth money, I think. So I'm gonna grab them all. I think it'll be about, I think $36 or something like that for all of them. So I'm picking them all up. So my total was $42. I bought all the Barbies. And that is everything for today. So thank you so much for joining me. Until next time, I hope you have a great day. Bye-bye.